Hey, it's Heather here. I get on here and just talk about whatever. Like, I don't even care right now. I'm in a very grumpy mood. I honestly feel like you're always going to deal with some form of abuse. You just have to pick which kind you want to put up with. And from whom you're willing to take it from. And so it's like, go back to playing like, yeah, I'm crazy and I'm an idiot and I don't know anything and I don't deserve to, you know, have a life, you know, outside of what my parents say. And, you know, I need to be their chauffeur when they get old and sick and take care of them and listen to them bitch about problems that they never talk to each other about. And, you know, like, let my dad, you know, uh, look at anybody lustfully that he wants to at whatever age he is, you know, and all kinds of shit and just, <sighs> I'm just very miserable right now. Like, I get told stuff every friggin' day, it seems like. And if it's not, like, me getting told stuff, then it's the past things that I've been told that are just on repeat in my head. <coughs> and it's like, everybody hates everybody, I reckon. Nobody loves anybody. I don't fucking know. Like, I can't figure it out. Like, that's what everybody wants me to believe. That's what it's easier for everybody to want me to believe. You know, that's what we're all supposed to believe. We're all supposed to believe that the world is hateful. Nobody gives a shit about anybody. Everybody just wants to tear everybody down, step on them, you know. And you're supposed to go out and intellectually, you know, you're supposed to know that. Like, from day one that you're just supposed to smile and pretend like everything's perfect. Yet you got these people that are intellectual that don't smile and pretend like everything's perfect. You know, like... I don't know. I'm just I'm just in a really pissy ass mood. Like, it's like you go out into the world to think that you're gonna find something new and all you find is the same repetitive bullshit. And it's like, so whose bullshit do I wanna deal with? My family's bullshit since well, at least they're my family, I reckon. Fuck, I don't know what the hell that even means anymore. And not like I had a very good example to begin with, but, and then, um, all these people that want to be like, oh, shut your mouth if you don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about to the extent that I've been educated upon, okay? So if you didn't step in and educate me on something, just like I said about my dad, where the fuck were his so-called friends to tell him that the way that he was parenting us and upbringing us was not correct? Hmm? Where were they? Oh, they didn't exist, did they? They didn't give a shit, did they? So where the fuck were the people that wanted to educate me when I needed the education given to me? And then, you know, now if they show up knocking on my goddamn door, am I really supposed to be appreciative? If somebody's going to teach me now how to properly raise my child as a single parent... You know, the proper by the book, by the state government, you know, and officials say way after my child is done fucking 12, going on 13. Where the fuck were you from the beginning? Oh, you know, oh, you can get state help. Oh, you can get help from everybody. Bullshit. I've done a better job without the masses of help that other people get, and they've done a worse damn job. I have witnessed people that get government help all the time, and their kids get taken from them by the time that they're two and three and four and five years old. Why? Because they let them sleep in the bed with them or some type of shit like that. Or because 
they're so stressed out because they got somebody coming in their house all the time telling them that they're done doing everything wrong and then they've dealt with family abuse just like when they was a kid and nobody was there to step in and help them with their shit just like nobody helped me with my damn shit and they went and they ran out and they got a license and they got a car and they didn't have time that's one thing that's that was good i guess you could say about my life kind of being the way that it was because i didn't have access to fucking just get up and leave and go and run wild i had time to sit and think i had lots of time to sit and think about things think do i really want to run wild and then watch other people that are running wild and see where it gets them and cry for them, and feel bad for them, and try to talk to them, try to tell them to slow down, try to tell them to stop listening to people. They listen to people. People say, hey, man, come over. Hey, man, I need somebody to hang out with. Hey, man, I need this. I need that. You know, come hang out with me. Here, try this. Here, why don't we go out and have some fun tonight? Here, why don't we go and do this? I never had that. I learned to be grateful for it. I learned to accept me. And that's one thing that people cannot even stand about another living human being is when you accept yourself. <gasps> You're not supposed to do that. That is so sinful. Oh my God. No. No. You're supposed to not do that. And then, what was it? I read something last night. It's like, there is no real view of who you are. You are different in everybody's mind. There's a different version of you out there in everybody's mind and that is the opposite, well, not the opposite, that is different from the version you have in your mind of who the fuck you are. That makes perfect goddamn sense. And apparently God thinks more of me than I think of myself, in all friggin' honesty. I'm just, I'm just in a pissy ass mood. I'm sitting here right now with the damn t-shirt on, some brown shorts and my black damn boots. And I'm just like, I feel like I'm fucking 12 again. I feel like I'm 13 again. Not because I literally completely feel like that. I know I'm not that age. I know I'm 30. I know I'm sitting here in an apartment that I'm fixing to have to pay rent for again here in a week or two. And I know all this. But for as far as my mindset, I went and walked my dogs and I thought to myself, I might as well be out cleaning Lucky's pen like I have. It's like repeat, repeat. Same bullshit. That's the reason I'm like, abuse. Where do you want it from? Who do you want to take it from? And unfortunately, a lot of people are like, I'm just going to keep taking the abuse from the same exact people for the rest of my life. Please go lay down. Please go lay down. Please, please. Yes, I'm in a bad mood. Thank you. like I can see the different options and I can see so much but I can never find anybody else any other living human being that can just listen to me for once it's not a control thing it's a oh you want you want it to be better you want it to be better I do too. Okay, let's 
put in the effort to make it better. But no, I'm the only one wanting to put in the effort to make it fucking better. Everybody else, oh yeah, 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 I want to put in the effort too. I want to make it better. I want everything to be better, man. Better. Yeah, fuck yeah, better. Okay. And then as soon as things even get a little shaky, they jump ship. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? I just have this sense inside of me, I guess. I don't know what the fuck it is. But I know things can be better. But nobody else does, so therefore they're not willing to put in the effort. And the biggest thing that everybody is afraid of is talking and finding out and being honest, truthful, down to the nitty gritty, down to the nitty gritty. That's one thing I was trying to teach my daughter. Hold on through the nitty gritty. Get through it. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it's going to keep sucking for quite a while. Have faith. Nobody has faith. Everybody says they do. Especially Christians. <laughs> do they? Oh, I have all the faith. Oh, Jesus gave me the faith. The faith. Fuck you. Fuck you. You ain't got no faith. If you did, you wouldn't sit there and run your fucking mouth about people behind their goddamn backs and shit talk them. really pissed me off like seeing that shut up if you don't know what you're talking about I do know what I'm talking about that's your problem I may not know in detail all the things I may not know what part of the little girl got ran over that my dad seen but I understand that her body got ran over I don't know if her brains were out, okay? I have no fucking idea. I don't know if her intestines was sprawled out. I don't know. So excuse me if I don't know, I wasn't there. I wasn't even born yet. So no, I don't fucking know, okay? But my dad didn't go into detail and tell me, did he? My grandmother told me stories about two men that tried to rape her. Did she go into full on detail? No. So yeah, if you don't know, you don't know. It's not because you're some dumb shit walking around that don't fucking know. It's because people don't know how to fucking tell shit, you know, to the extent that they want it portrayed, you know, and told ass. And if they have a goddamn lick of sense in their fucking mind, they're going to tell the goddamn truth. Instead of half-assing it. I'm just, I'm pissed the fuck off. I'm beyond pissed the fuck off. I mean, I'm sitting here right now, and I don't want to go back to work. Why? Because the amounts of gossip. I don't want to go home either. Why? Because the amounts of gossip. And I don't mean home with my mom and dad. I will never fucking live with them again. If I do, I will definitely commit suicide. Which is what everybody probably wants, in all fucking honesty. I 
can go to a homeless shelter. I don't want to. I can go stay with my grandmother. I don't want to. I could probably even go stay with my parents. I don't want to. And it's not because I'm some unappreciative little bitch. It's because I want to stay here and finish out my lease. And I want to move. And I want to have a vehicle so that way I can access going places that I need to go when I need to go to them. So that way I can get custody back of my daughter. But I want somebody that I'm building with. So like imagine being a kid and the whole time like you're a single child just like my daughter and the whole time you're playing alone. Like my kid lucky to have me. She don't understand how lucky she's been to have me. I don't know how many times I'd sit down and play with her. I don't know how many times I'd let kids spend the night just so she has somebody to play with. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I had people spend the night when I was a kid and stuff, hang out and play, whatever. But I want, I want something real. I want a real relationship. Because, yeah, when you're brought into this world, you're alone. When you die, you're alone. There ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to be there for you, be there with you. Or if they do, it's because they really, really fucking care on some deep level shit that half this world ain't never going to know. Or over half. My child is the only reason that I'm sitting here right now. That's it. It's not because of my parents. It's not because of my grandparents. It was when, you know, I reached a point where it's like, oh, you can feed yourself. Oh, you can, you can wash yourself. Oh, you can, you know, you can figure it out on your own. Basic needs met. You can meet them yourself if you have to. And see, that's the thing about my parents. They thought just as long as I lived with them, just as long as I was needing their money, just as long as I was needing their help, that gave them power. That gave them control. My child is 12. If you threw my child out in the middle of the fucking, I don't know, out in the middle of the fucking woods, out in the middle of the goddamn desert at 12 years old, I guarantee you she would try to stay alive. She would have enough sense to try to stay alive. Especially if you give her some little essential things, like a lighter or matches. Something to carry water in, a pot. A knife. See, I don't know what it is about being a parent that most people get a high out of. That they're like, oh, you can't live without me. Okay, a baby can't. One-year-old can't. Two-year-old, sometimes I wonder, because I've seen two-year-olds take care of a fucking house almost. Two and a half, yeah, I've, I've seen them where they practically, as long as it's there, as long as it's provided to them, I've seen them get up and make their own damn breakfast. Not my kid, not my kid, but my little cousins, because their mama, she was strung out on shit. 
And then people, some people praise themselves on that. Oh, my two-year-old can done do this. My two-year-old can done do that. My three-year-old done knows how to do laundry. So proud of them. And while I get it, you know, it's a basic essential, you know, something basic that they're going to have to do forever, you know, and they don't know how to do it and they do a good job of it and it becomes second nature and it's no big deal to them or what the fuck ever and shit like that. I kind of disagree that it's going to really help them out in the long run because they're going to grow up and... Now, granted, if they have good parents that don't yell at them to get them to do it, to teach them or anything, and they have, you know, very encouraging, very supportive, very soft-spoken parents that teach them how to do it, it might actually become a comfort. So they might be, you know, 30 years old having a bad day and be like, I'm going to do the laundry because it reminds me of when I was three and I was with my mom and my dad and they were so good to me, you know, or when I was five or seven or whatever. I mean, I fucking get it. But for the majority, no, you're not taught like that. You're taught with people screaming at you, screaming down your back. So by the time you're 30, you know, and I'm not saying I did my laundry at age 3. I didn't. I started doing my laundry at age 11. But you got, I don't know. You got people screaming at you to do shit, and then you just dread doing it that much more. And then knowing that you're going to have to do it for the rest of your life becomes a hassle. And then it becomes too much, and then it's a burden on your mind. See, that's one thing that I went through with my kid when I was with my husband, is trying to teach her about balance. She had as many toys as she does now, or, well, less, technically, but still, she had a bunch of toys for the age that she was. I tried to tell my parents to stop buying her toys for her birthday and Christmas, just buy her DVDs, movies, and yet here she is. She's 12 years old, and we don't own Tangled or Frozen. Two of the biggest movies, kind of, for girls of her generation, stuff like that. But, no, we own toys. Toys that are sitting collecting dust right now and have been for a year. Because my child's not home. But anyways, so, Clarabelle, please, you're distracting me. Lay down. Go lay down. Thank you. You're pretty. Yes, you're pretty. Now lay down. You're pretty. <sighs> but anyway, so uh, my kid was saying that she hated herself. And I just flat, like, I tried to talk to her about it. I tried to tell her not to say it. I tried to talk to her about, you know, how you're supposed to speak positive over yourself. All kinds of shit like that. And she still kept on for like two, three months. And that's because she was hearing it from my husband and from myself. Because me and him were fighting so much. And so we'd sit there and we'd be like, I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself for arguing. I wish I could not want to argue over the same monotonous bullshit. Because it's in the past. It's not going to change. I hate myself for arguing over it. So she's sitting there, I hate myself, I hate myself, because she's hearing us. So I literally put my foot down, stop saying it completely myself. Get on to my husband and tell him that he is not her biological father, and that I am her biological mother, and that her well-being is more important to me than his to a degree, because he can take care of himself, because he's a grown man. And I tell him he's not supposed to say that around my daughter anymore. And every time he tries to or he about does, I get on to him and I'm like, stop. Don't say that. Hush. Don't say that. So I'm getting on to him for it. And then my kid kind of grew out of it in another month or two. Now granted, there was one day where she uh, got really mad because 
she went and she had a temper tantrum and she kind of destroyed her room. And I went and told her to clean her room up. And she was just, I hate myself while she was cleaning it. And I remember, you know, looking at her and being like, Ava, you know, stop it. We don't talk like that about ourselves. You know, and I was like, have you heard me say that anymore? No. Have you heard Casey say that anymore? You know, and yes, that's my husband's first name. No. Okay, then. We don't talk like that in this house. This is our house. This is our home. We don't talk like that. We don't talk hate. We talk love. We don't talk hate. So hush. And then she, you know, got mad, kind of pouted and crossed her arms and me, you know, cleaned up her mess or whatever. But she grew out of it. But then she gets here, she goes into middle school, and everybody is on the teasing side of things where they want to ridicule and shit, just like go, I me mean, going to work. Ridicule, ridicule, you know, gossip, gossip. And Una! Una! I gotta end this video. I got dog throw up to clean up. She does that, I believe, because of how upset I am. She can sense it. I don't even, I mean, yeah. <coughs> I'm sitting here complaining. <coughs> and gropping. Are you done? Huh? Una, come here. Are you done? Don't lick me. <laughs> you feel better now? Well, go lay down. Go lay down. It's like anxiety. And it's like, oh, you're the cause of it. Okay, shut up. But then I'm anxious if I don't express it. And then it's just, this world, I swear it's like fucking, what is it? Oh, and that's another thing too. Ghostbusters, I'll say real quick, you know, the Ghostbusters. Where, you know, it's like, oh, look at all this ooze. And this is where all the negative emotions are coming from. And did it, did it, did it. That's the whole fucking world, man. It's the whole fucking world over. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with people. And yes, I'm rolling up my shorts because she stepped on me and I don't know. I felt like her paws was wet. So in fact she stepped in her throat and then stepped on me. So I get to clean my legs. But um that's another thing too that uh was a comment or whatever. Apparently only stupid people believe in ghosts. So if you're stupid then yeah, you'll believe in ghosts, you'll believe in spirits, and that's the reason, you know, like intellectual people, I guess, you know, or whatever, um, fucking, you know, uh, don't believe in God, you know, and that's the reason they're atheists, I guess, and everything, you know, is because God is technically like some type of spirit ghost or something, supposedly, or whatever, or I don't know. But anyways, uh, people that go to college, th there's nobody that's ever went to a college, you know, that has graduated from a college that, you know, is intellectually smart, that believes in ghosts or spirits, supposedly. That's what I was... Kind of told, you know, last night, and I'm just like, you know, and I just, I don't know. I'm just, but I'm going to end it here because I got this mess to clean up, and I hope you can at least have a good day. I hope, for anybody that watches this, I hope you feel appreciated. I hope you know that you do have good value, you know, and good things about you, and so on and so forth, and I know it's hard. Boy, do I. And that's another thing, too. Like, I get tired of, you know, oh, you know, like, I don't know. But anyways, I just, I'm just tired of shit. I gotta end it here because it's getting on my nerves. Like, that I ain't even ended it yet. I'll start cleaning that up. But, now that you're good, you know, think positive as best as you can. Whatever, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm just in a really grumpy, crappy-ass mood, you know. So, bear with me, you know. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video and I'll catch you later.